Hi everyone, in the last video we have seen together how to set up Microsoft Viva Connections. In this video I'll be showing you how you can add a video in Microsoft Viva Connection. Let's get started. Here I am in SharePoint, this is the home site of my tenant. And here on top I dropped a feed for Viva Connections web part and on the right I have the Viva Connections dashboard. Now I want to achieve this result. I want to add a video here directly embedded in the feed for Viva Connections and I want to add in the dashboard this video as well as adaptive card. I already have the SharePoint home site open here in the browser. Now I don't need to edit this page because I can add additional adaptive card here on the dashboard. All I need to do now is click on the wheel icon and click on Site Contents. I'm going to upload now a video in the Site Assets document library. Let me click on Site Assets and directly here I'm going to drop this video that I have. Now, the structure of this document library is up to you. You can even create an additional folder, video, for example, picture and so on. Now I will drop immediately this video in this way. So I will have a flat situation with all my files at the first level without folders. All right, my video is now uploaded. I'm ready to share this video with the entire organization. Then I will click on the proper icon and here I will change the setting in people in my tenant. So everyone in my tenant, in my organization is able to see and display this video. Now I'm going to copy this link. Okay, link copied. Now I can jump on the home site directly. I'm going now to create a new video news link. This is just released by Microsoft, has new element available under the new button. And here I will paste exactly the link that I copied before. Now I have the title of my file, so I can add my title, my custom description, and I can even upload a custom image. Let's do that. It's fine that thumbnail, let me click on the button insert. Now I'm going to type a title, how to use Power Automate Desktop. I'm going to copy exactly the same te text and the title into the description and then I will click on the button review and submit. I turn it on a workflow when I want to publish a new page. That's the reason why I, I have this button now. Let me click on submit for approval, submit, review. I am also the approver of this site and here we go. Now this news link is ready. I am now in the welcome page of my home site and now this video is available here. I have display button on the feed for Viva Connections. I want to add the same tile here in the dashboard. Now let me show you in Teams how it looks like. I have to refresh the welcome page of my home site and of course I have the same user experience. Let me go back now in SharePoint and I have a tab open here with site contents. I want to jump in site pages. Now I'm going to open the dashboard.spx page. In this page I can edit my Viva Connections dashboard. Let me click on the button edit so I am able in this way to add a new card here. Now scrolling down I can add an additional adaptive card here. I made a video how you can set up the Viva Connections dashboard. You can click in the top right corner right now. So let me jump now and click on web link. I will click on the, on the pencil. The size medium is fine for me. I will paste it now the URL of my video and this is the exactly this one. Now I can add a title. That's my title and that one is my description. 
Okay, I will leave the auto selected on the thumbnail and the card icon, I want to select a video icon so I can filter per video and then I have this icon that is perfect. So here we go. Now I added also this video as adaptive card in Viva Connections dashboard. Here I am on Microsoft Teams desktop. This is the dashboard and if I scroll down I can see this new adaptive card just created. Here we go on my Android device. Let me open Microsoft Teams so we can see how it looks like the user experience here by adding videos in Microsoft Viva Connections. This is my Microsoft Viva Connections app, call it Contoso. And here I have the three components, dashboard, feed and resources. Scrolling down, I can see here in the dashboard the video, the adaptive card with the embedded video that I just created. Going on feed, I will have the same experience. So I have the play button in this first element of my feed. All right, in this video, we have seen how to add videos in Microsoft Viva Connections. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe and comment. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.